हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंटेलेक्ट मेडिकोज लर्निंग मेड इजी इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टेल येट डू सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल टू गेट अपडेट्स एंड नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई न्यू वीडियोज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लिवर सरोसिस इट इज़ अ कंडीशन इन विच लिवर डज नॉट फंक्शन प्रॉपरली ड्यू टू लॉन्ग टर्म डैमेज दिस डैमेज लीड टू रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ नॉर्मल लिवर टिश्यू बाय स्कार टिश्यू दिस कैन बी ड्यू टू लॉन्ग टर्म डैमेज बाय ई द एल्कोहल टिपिकली मोर देन टू टू थ्री एल्कोहलिक ड्रिंक्स पर डे ओवर अ नंबर ऑफ ईयर्स इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एल्कोहलिक सरोसेस टू अकर एंड ऑल्सो कैन बी ड्यू टू क्रोनिक हेपेटाइटिस सी और हेपेटाइटिस बी इन्फेक्शन एंड मेनी अदर कॉजेज आई विल डिस्कस ऑल द कॉजेज विद निमोनिक इन लेटर पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो न फर्स्ट अबाउट पैथोफिजोलॉजी द लिवर इज फाउंड बाय पेन कैमल दैट इज हेपेटोसाइड्स एंड नॉन पेन कैमल सेल्स द वॉल्स ऑफ हेपेटिक सैनोसाइड्स आर लाइन बाय नॉन पेन कैमल कप्फर सेल्स एक्टिवेटेड कप्फर सेल्स डिस्ट्रॉय हेपेटोसाइड्स एंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू फेब्रोसेस Other non-pan gamma cells are stellate cells in the perisinusoidal space. These are also called as eto cells or vitamin A rich cells. On exposure to inflammatory cytokines such as platelet derived growth factor PDGF or transforming growth factor beta TGF beta, stellate cells undergo transition from quiescent to activated state. Activation of stellate cells is characterized by generation of large amount of collagen and other extracellular matrix, ultimately leading to liver fibrosis. As this fibrotic tissue builds up it starts to compress sinusoids and central vein leading to increased intracellular pressure or sometimes called as portal hypertension Now the causes of hypertension can be remembered by a mnemonic ABCD pint Keep this picture in mind for pint and remember as if a drunk person can't even say ABCD A for alcohol B for hepatitis B infection C for hepatitis C infection D for drugs which can be alpha methyl dopa or methotrexate p for primary biliary cirrhosis i for autoimmune hepatitis n for non alcoholic fatty liver disease and t for type 4 glycogen storage diseases coming on to signs and symptom as we have already discussed in pathophysiology that how portal hypertension occurs in cirrhosis higher portal venous pressure pushes fluid in the blood vessel to tissues and across tissues to large open spaces like peritoneal cavity that is why cirrhosis causes increased peritoneal fluid a condition called as ascites and can also result in congestive splenomegaly due to increased portal venous pressure also due to high liver pressure blood is diverted and leads to portal systemic shunt as blood follows path of least resistance and shunts blood from portal system to systemic circulation these changes also causes increased renal vasoconstriction which causes decreased filtration ultimately leading to hepatorenal failure where kidney failure follows liver failure also this portal systemic shunt can cause esophageal varices which presents as hematemesis now the signs and symptoms which are due to liver cell failure there occurs decreased detoxification by the liver which causes accumulation of toxic metabolites like ammonia in the brain leading to hepatic encephalopathy and patients might develop asterixis where they have tremoring or jerky hands when outstretched There also occurs decreased estrogen metabolism which causes spider angiomata often containing a central red spot and reddish extension which radiate outwards like a spider's web. Palmer erythema and gynecomastia can also occur. As liver cells are damaged albumin is decreased which leads to peripheral edema and contribute to ascites as well. Decreased conjugation of bilirubin leads to yellowish discoloration of urine and sclera that is jaundice. and clotting factors are produced less in damaged liver causing coagulation disorders you can remember all these manifestation in this diagram keep this diagram in mind and think of manifestation first due to portal hypertension and then due to liver cell failure guys if you like the content and information do like and share our videos and subscribe our channel intellect medicos thank you friends